Hey, dude. What'd you find? Peace. Wow, I, uh, don't scare me like that. I thought I told you to rest. I thought I told you I'm fine. Hey, I was worried about you. You're gonna get yourself killed. I'm not even carrying a gun. What am I gonna do with you? I might care one to talk. You know, I was always grumbling about Agent Brea running off alone. <sighs> hey, what are you fucking gonna do? But how'd you know where I was anyway? Curious, huh? Take a look at this. It's really informative, especially about living things. This place. Press the right sensor to switch screens. Not before I do this. Operate. These panels look like touch sensors. Push. So that's gonna unlock the end game area. Oh, it's just there. When I saw you here, I called you on the intercom. Touch the next sensor panel. Ah! The next? Wait. That's critically important. You can't go to the next part of the game. What? What's this? It's all green. Forest? What's up with that? Aren't the manas all internal? Any TV. We're looking at something inside the shelter. It's an underground facility called Neo Ark. Researchers just called it the Ark. Ah, huh? The boat built to save pairs of animals from the Great Flood. Wait, this is Noah's Ark? Get real. Hey, don't look at me. What's Neo Ark? A greenhouse on a massive scale. It's even got an artificial sun. Why would anyone? Beats me. All I know is something's in there generating a lot of power. Enough to create a kind of electromagnetic barrier. A barrier? What do you mean? That thing you saw? That big nasty puma-like thing? That AMC grows on the power being broadcast from Neo Arc. I think I understand. That AMC pupa. It must be the Neo Mitochondria factory Kyle's talking about. Kyle? Who the fuck's he? Sounds like a betrayer. Yeah, whatever. So, if that's the case, then all we have to do is take out the Neo Arc generator to stunt its growth big time. I'll do it. But where is it? Take a look here. What are those lights? Those are ENMCs. Each dot represents a creature. Remember that implant you picked up in the tower? The day before yesterday? God, it's only been that short. Here, take it. Only an MC is creating here one of those implants. That means... We can track their movements. Right. That shows a and MC locations. It's kind of a tracking system. See? That's you there, Aya. That blue point of light. Just a little trick of mine. Try passing next. Where's this? That's the Neo Arc facility. There's a heavy duty magnetic field interfering with the detection system. I see. I guess I'm going. Roger that. But you, you stay here. And I'll stay here. I just said that, but hey, don't worry about me. That track will warn me if anything's coming. That, and I've got some unfinished business here. What? Top secret, sorry. Get a move on. Oh, you're giving me that, huh? So we want to turn back around immediately and go down to this last one right here. 
push it and then navigate over here to turn off security. That's gonna make these upcoming boss fights way easier. This is bigger than we thought. I'm going to take this to HQ. Continue with your investigation. Continue with the investigation. So we have to go to that, that area that we saw previously in the camera. I can hear faint heartbeat. Carapace is thick, but there's definitely something living inside. Man, do you read? Just confirm me. You can use that lift there. Roger. I know, an, I know how an elevator works. This whole area is basically just three boss fights. One of them's optional. Excuse me, sir. Yes, come in. Hello, Mr. President. What is it? A report from the mole we sent into that organization, sir. A mole? Yes. He's found it. I see. Well, destroying the target would be difficult, but there is another way. Are you sure? If you would give us up D three hundred six permission, just in case. D three hundred six, the SDI relic. That's our insurance plan only. If I must. You have permission. Thank you, sir. Congress doesn't need to be involved with this. Apparently I have unilateral power to do this sort of thing. What could the SDI mean? Oh, it's that. It's a tungsten, it's a tungsten rod launcher. The elephant. Like, don't worry, it doesn't shoot nukes. So if I had Kyle here with me, he would be caught on fire right now, which is good. Testing, testing. Check, baby. One, two, three. Aya, can you hear me? Oh, you got felt. Yes, I can fucking hear you. Okay. Listen up. Magnetic barrier preventing tracking beyond this point. So you're on your own. Like I haven't been before. You can do it. And, uh, I am. Uh, never mind. See ya. So this is the Ark, huh? Welcome to New York. Enjoy natural environments, really recreated from around the world. Tropical rainforests, coniferous forests, savanna, coral reefs, tundra, greenhouses for each climate, reproducing temperatures, humidity, soil conditions, flora, and fauna. All new humans adapt to each environment. We'll begin the tour with the savanna zone. Remember, some fauna are carnivorous. Please stay on the path. So apparently this is where they were uh, choose a topic. Many of you may already know the NMCs appeared in New York City, began as other organisms before the miraculous transformation. Thanks to the neomitochondrial tail of Marais activity, each cell aging is a thing of the past. A draft of spin has been at work on God's blueprint for life. The results are here for all to see. The artificial and MC. The future is bright for this latest step in human evolution. Creating an MC. First, an externally controllable form of neomitochondria is placed in a vector virus and injected in the test subject. The virus multiplies, carrying its genetic package to the host cells. Stimuli are sent to the neomitochondria, causing the host neonine. Neonine, the retention of juvenile characteristics in an adult organism. Eternal youth. Test subject's body reverts to a pubescent state. 
The unit and I subject now has a growth potential of an infant. Yet in our labs, they can freely choose how they wish to develop. All we do is help the new AMC adapt to his or her environment. In this way, evolution is achieved in a single generation. And an entirely original organism, an AMC, is born. On the laboratory, those AMCs still in development are assisted with life support. The results from these group tests will allow us to perfect the leisure. Mental activities need not, need, not needed for daily life is suppressed to avoid host confusion. Ideally, mental activity will be permanently suppressed in all subjects save a few to promote cooperative group behavior. We've heard nothing but 100% satisfaction from our eternally youthful test subjects. Touch the glass barriers in the testing area for our guided tour. Okay, so basically this is kind of where they're selling the concept of becoming an AMC. And it's not entirely clear if they're doing this to people who are buying into being ANMCs or if they're doing this to people they just kidnap off the street. But it's clear that most, if not all, of the ANMCs that we've seen so far were human at some point, and now they are not. Which I don't know if it's disturbing or not. It's guided TF, basically. But you can see how each type of ANMC is adapted to a certain environment. I don't know why they're all hyper aggressive like this, but I guess the reason that some of the um, just regular NMC creatures are around here is because the ANMC virus got loose at some point. Whatever vector telomerase they're using or whatever. Okay, this puzzle's fucking annoying. Um, so this is a slide puzzle that we need to use to get to the next area. Panel with 15 marble blocks. There's one empty space without a block. A game for visitors. You can use the blocks to solve the puzzle. There's a way to do this, like, quickly and accurately, and I don't remember what it is, and I don't care to learn. I don't know why they have this weird shrine situation. It's, it's fairly bizarre. There we go. And there's a way to unlock the other stuff, um, the white and blue ones, but they only unlock one at a time, and I don't fucking want to do it. You can play this game for yourself to get that shit unlocked, because damn, that's super annoying. What the fuck is this? It's alive. Another ANMC? Doesn't look like it can move. I can sense an incredible number of neomitochondria inside. The power, it's generating power. So these poor bastards are the ones that are generating the electricity that runs this place. So again, it doesn't seem like it's particularly voluntary, but at the same time, they're selling this to people. Like, you're, you, the, the sliding block puzzle for visitors unlocks this area that you can just walk into. So did they hold it under guard? Like, it's so confusing as to what's actually happening here. If you don't destroy that computer, which is its life support that was mentioned earlier, um, then it re continually regains health faster than you can damage it, um, which means that it's impossible to kill. The other uh, power guy is on the other side of this fence. There's no way through here, but you have to go the long way around to get there. But that's okay, because the long way around also has the boss that we're going after. So it has a dual benefit. These little buggos, little rhinoceroses, Lokabus. Also, they were putting the ANMCs on display here, so like the the people that they had transformed were being used to sell more product, which I I guess that makes sense, but it's just so it's so weird. I wish they had I wish they had spent more time fleshing out exactly what's happening in here. Because it seems like they're trying to have their cake of File alert system generated number one, North Course temporary open. Please follow staff directions to evacuate in an orderly manner. The automatic precipitation system will control the fire. Because it seems like on the one hand, they're kidnapping people off the street and transforming them using the Neogene problem project to show off the Neogene project. But at the same time, they're also like, hey guys, why don't you just sign up for the Neogene project? But then like, why isn't it public? Mm, I guess, I guess maybe it's not public yet because they haven't finalized the procedure, but it seems to work fine. And why did they create the ultimate bioweapon? Maybe that's the one that they left with, with full intelligence so that it could lead the rest of the human race. This is an optimized, well, no, it's an optimized hunter. It looks like a velociraptor. 
Velociraptor, the most deadly living animal known to man. She apparently throws the shit on the ground so hard that it just disappears. Uh, also, I don't know why they have this weird fixation on making shrines and altars and stuff. That's just a thing that they do around here, apparently. Uh, one moment, bad guy. Gotta pump up. But they were like, you know, we're building this rainforest area. Gotta whack a shrine in it. Okay, this clue to the right is the clue for the first iteration of this puzzle. But we're not, we're not just going to be doing that. We're going to be doing both iterations of the puzzle. Now, you know what? These guys are in line. You gotta, you gotta cash in resources eventually, but these resources do do come back, sort of. Okay, uh, we're gonna do one and then the other. So let's start with the let's start with the you need to do this to progress puzzle. What was that? Something far off to the west. Heard an unlocking noise. This happens. We're gonna pull this lever now. Um, we gotta go back anyway, so might as well just knock this out quickly and get to Crimstall Skull. Why is this island like this? I do not know. But it is, and we're going there. Might just bust out the Coca-Cola. That seems like it might be the best course of action. Yeah, it's gonna be, because um, I don't wanna get my ass kicked. There's a hole in the ground. The ladder leads down. Let's go. Okay, hopefully this boss fight doesn't start. Ah, delicious cola. There we go. Okay. I'm sure we can this. Oh. switch guns. Yeah. Oh yeah, please actually reload the gun. Thank you. Yeah, there he is. There's the boss in the background right there. Okay, here comes the big chungus. Let's get an energy shot going. Let's get energy ball going. Let's miss. Let's just miss. Missing sounds good. I love missing. Fucking... I'm so irritated. So irritated that I was just missed repeatedly. There! Give me your... give me your crimstals. And then it's really gross. Floating melted creature remains. There's a strong lemony smell. Wait, there's something shiny floating. And this is the last secret item. Thank goodness for that. Alright, move! 
and I will tell you what it does. Uh, increases weapon damage by 20%. So it, it, all of my all of my damage is now increased by a certain value, and um, all damage I take is lowered. And yeah, it's just it's good all around. Just a good set of just a really good set of secret items. Like it's really worth it to go out and get them all. Really, it's like most of the most of the game time is just fucking running around. Like, damn. It's not even. It's not even really um, having a bunch of difficult combat encounters. It's just like you got to run from one end of the level to the other end of the level, and that's to do stuff you're supposed to do. Not even getting secret stuff. Not even getting dope secrets and sick unlocks. That's the clue to unlock the Sea Diver boss, the one that we just did. Just gives you a hint of what you're supposed to be doing. That one's easier to figure out than the rest of them, uh, or than the other one, I, in my opinion, like the one you're supposed to do. You have to like shift this big stone around and it's just the worst. God, look at this, look at this big boy. Look at this big chungus. That's what's powerful, much more than the one before. Vast number of mitochondria axes won't be the AMC. Tenacious clinging to life, abjectly fearing death. I'm sorry, but I had to do this. This is why we turned off security. Um, if you don't, then all of these turrets activate and it's a humongous pain to have to kill all of them too. Because the bosses themselves are actually quite easy. They don't have that much health. Also, they don't attack you. And also, uh, also they don't attack you, so they're um, pretty... They're basically puzzle bosses. Sploosh. The barrier disappeared. But I can still feel something emanating from far below. Okay, what's coming up next is a fairly annoying boss fight. Oh, this is fairly interesting. Okay, so what I've been inflicted with is Berserker. It locks off all of my earth and water skills. Meaning I can't heal, but I can attack. So it's a fairly interesting status effect that doesn't happen all that often. Um, but when it does, it really goofs with your, your normal gameplay loop, to be honest. In fact, it may be worth trying to choose. Uh, depends on if I have my thing with me still. Do I have the party time device? I do have the party time device. We may be employing the party time device.
So what are those things? I'm glad you asked. Those are golems. They are the new enemy type, the new hotness when it comes to enemies. We're not going to be experiencing that many right now, but we will be later. And boy howdy, can they be annoying. Um, they come in, I believe, like five different types. Um, and basically, um, they come in non-shielded type with uh, sword and gun and shielded type with sword and gun and then nine type. Okay, these things are the worst. So these speakers um, drain your MP. What are they down here for, you might ask? Well, you're gonna find out in a minute. Oh God, they're gonna make me waste ammo on this, all right. Also, because these are not bio biological enemies, I'm not gonna be getting any parasite energy back. Go down the elevator? No! I'm just kidding, let's go down. Do 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 More of these guys! Luckily, killing killing that one dude turns up. Hey, look, it's the little girl. What are you doing, little girl? Get back here. Little girl, that's not how you open a door. Uh, um, mm, let's use them both. Not really a point in it, because we're about to go into a room with a bunch of that shit. This boss fight is a pain in the ass. The reason for that is, the boss is, uh, invulnerable to um, parasite energy damage. Um, also, the boss fight takes place with a bunch of parasite energy draining shit happening. So before anything happens, we're gonna turn on metabolism because the boss can inflict status effects. Um, actually, let me change to uh, shotgun here. And turn this shit off. You can see the little girl on the side there. She's the one empowering the boss. When he doesn't have stuff like that, when he doesn't have little arcs of lightning, he's vulnerable to, um, what you call it? He's vulnerable to uh, parasite energy. When he does have lightning, he's only vulnerable to um, bullet. Also, I kind of feel like this was supposed to be the Bowman boss fight because it makes a little bit more sense in narrative, but um, this is just a random Bowman type enemy. Well, that was a healthy amount of damage. Didn't kill him. Oh, heal for 80, huh? All right, fuck you. Come on, fall over. You're killing me. Oh, he actually fell over. Cool, good job. Uh, disposable UJ toilet spray. What does this do? Like, oh, and juices berserker. Yeah, fuck that. This perfume smells so great. Ugh. I hope nothing terrible happens, like Kyle showing up with a gun, pointing it at the child. We finally found a mark. That little one is the pilot, I'm sure of it. She's the one in control of all the AMCs. I think you're right. Let's do what we came here to do. Shoot a child. And then it's like, fucking what? Hang on. Hey Kyle, you need to, you need to cut the shit with pointing guns at people, please. Let me talk to the child. I may not have any maternal instincts to speak of, but at least I'm not pointing a fucking gun at her. Hey, it's that little girl from earlier. Kyle says, ah oh, shit, we've humanized her. No, I can't dome her. Yeah, yeah, it's been a rough couple of days, huh, kid? 